Let's just quickly make a thumbnail so I can open this package because I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today, I have a really exciting video. I say that every single time, but that's just because I love making videos. I have a package here today and this is not just like a regular book unboxing. This is actually a booktuber does my book haul or a booktuber buys me books. And I'm doing this together with one of my very, very, very good friends. But it's from basically Brit. Brit? Brit? <laughs> The Dutch pronunciation is present. I have known Brit for a couple of years right now, but ever since last year, I've become really good friends with her. And she's just a wonderful friend and she makes just amazing content. She uploads like so consistently. She has a really awesome Etsy shop where she makes stickers and bookmarks and prints and just wonderful products. I'm pretty sure you guys have already checked out her channel or know her, but if you haven't, you have kind of lived under a rock and you should definitely go check out her channel and subscribe to her. She's just absolutely amazing. So I I messaged Brit on WhatsApp and I was like, Brit, I've seen this on YouTube once. I don't know where exactly that booktubers buy each other books because we all love books here on booktube. So I think we can decide what is best for our booktube friends to read next. So we gave each other like some genres that we really like and we also showed each other our bookshelves so that we hopefully don't buy any books that we already have for each other. And my package came in the mail today. So we bought two books for each other. I am just... I'm really curious to see which books she picked for me and why. So I guess now it's time to open the package. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this in one go. Pretty sure I won't be able, but. <sighs> why do I always have the hope that I can do it once in one go? I'm not even doing it. The moment of truth. I don't, she said that there is a note in here and I actually really want to read the note first. So. Let's see if I can get out the note without like spoiling myself. Can I feel it? Did she buy me a hardcover? Oh, she bought me a hardcover. Where is the note? Okay, I'm just gonna grab the books first because I don't think I can get the note first. So the first book that she got me is, ooh, If I'm Being Honest. Oh, I've heard of this author duo. If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegmund. Broca? Broca? Wow, these names. I've heard of this duo before and I know them from Always Never Yours. And I think, yeah, this is their third novel. I believe that they are a couple and they write books together. Like how awesome is this? And I think it's a YA romance book. So let's read the back. Okay, I'm recording this bit for the second time because I read the synopsis of this book on the back and it was kind of confusing. Okay, I still won't really... <laughs> I still don't really know what it's about and I didn't really like get a good idea of what the story was about but then I looked it up on Goodreads by the way you're hearing the sound a little different right now because I'm recording it on my phone <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm talking way too loud I'm gonna read the synopsis on Goodreads because that one is I think way more clear than the one on the back so high school senior Cameron Bright's reputation can be summed up in one word bitch. It's no surprise she's queen bee at her private LA high school. She's beautiful, talented, and notorious for her cutting and brutal honesty. So when she puts her foot in her mouth in front of her crush, Andrew, she fears she may have lost him for good. In an attempt to win him over, Cameron resolves to tame herself, much like Catherine in Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. True? I've never heard of that, but I don't know any Shakespeare. <laughs> First, she'll have to make amends with those she's wronged, which leads her to Brandon, the guy she labeled with an unfortunate nickname back in sixth, sixth grade. At first, Brandon isn't all that receptive to Cameron's ploy, but slowly he warms up to her when they connect over the computer game he's developing. Now, if only Andrew would notice. But the closer Cameron gets to Brandon, the more she sees he appreciates her personality, honesty, and all, and wonders if she's compromising who she is for the guy she doesn't even want. So I also said to Brit that I love like feminist YA books and I see on the back here that this says, this delightfully feminist rom-com has characters that feel like friends and will surely appeal to fans of Sarah Dessen. <laughs> I've literally just unhauled a Sarah Dessen book. The authors examine modern ideas of feminism, which leads to a profound character arc and the essential message of how to claim your mistakes and do better. So that really, speaks to me. It makes me feel even more intrigued to this book right now because I completely didn't get that kind of vibe or that feeling from just reading the back of this book. I'm gonna guess that it is just a really nice 
romance YA novel and I don't have a lot of those on my shelf anymore but I definitely really love these during the spring and the summertime so I'm pretty sure that I will pick this one up in the next upcoming months to see what I think the cover is really cute and I love the aesthetic of it very curious to see what I will think of this thank you Brit oh my god and then she got me a hardcover I think Ooh. wow tell me again how a crush should feel a novel by Sarah Ferrizen. Ferrizen, author of If You Could Be Mine. I have no clue. I've never heard of this one, but oh, there should have been a note in the package, but I don't see it. I've literally never heard of this one. So Layla has made it most of the way through Armstead Academy without having a crush on anyone, which is something of a relief. As an Iranian American, she's different enough. If word got out that she liked girls life would be twice as hard. But when beautiful new girl Saskia shows up, Layla starts to take risks she never thought she would, especially when it looks as if the attraction between them is mutual. Struggling to sort out her growing feelings and Saskia's confusing signals, Layla confides in her old friend Liza and grows closer to her fellow drama tech crew members, especially Thomas, whose comments about his own sexuality are frank, funny wise, and sometimes painful. Gradually, Layla begins to see that almost all her classmates are more complicated than they first appear to be, and many are keeping fascinating secrets of their own. This sounds so cool though. It sounds like a coming of age high school high school high school story about LGBTQ, which I am I really really love, and I need to read more diverse books. So checking that off the list with this one and I really like it when a YA story goes a little bit more like in depth especially towards the characters and people finding out things about themselves. I've literally never heard of this one before so I think that's also really really cool. Look how good they match together as well. They're so pink and so cute looking. Thank you so much Brit for getting me these books. I'm so excited to read these and see what I think of them. I don't think I would have picked them up myself very quickly but I think it's really nice to see what others think would be a nice book for you. You know what I mean? I'm so excited to read these two books. So again, thank you so much for sending these to me, Brit. I hope that in the future I will be able to do these as well with other booktubers because I think it's just really cool to see how other people kind of perceive your reading taste and what they think would fit you really well. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these two books. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Like I said, please go check out Brit's channel because she is such an amazing friend, such an amazing booktuber. On that note, I also have other social media platforms on which you can follow me. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address and links to all of those will be in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.